Thank you. It's, it's a great pleasure to be here. As Rudyard said, I've come a rather long way from the front lines of the Ukraine conflict because I like to see these things with my own eyes for myself and to come to my own conclusions. I came out through Moldova the other day, through London, then got to Toronto. And a friend of mine said, why are you going to Toronto? I said, an invitation to Toronto in late November? Who on earth says no to that? <laughs> Only a madman would say no to that. Uh, you'll see shortly why I'm so keen to speak about this issue here in Canada, because I think that this country has just been through something absolutely extraordinary. You really know that the world is in trouble when Canada becomes very interesting. <laughs> Uh, I remember when your elections, as Norm Macdonald said, were all about, like, should we put up that bridge or not? Uh, now Canada has become really interesting. It became interesting in January and February of this year. Why? Because you had protesters in Ottawa. Really interesting when people come out in large numbers. And you know what the job of reporters is? The job of reporters is to go out and say, why are you on the streets? What brought you here? Why are you here with your kids? Why have you got a bouncy castle in the middle of Ottawa? That's a bit strange. <laughs> Ask them questions. Just find out the story. But you know what? The government didn't want that in Canada. Your Prime Minister decided in advance that these people were, oh, what did he do? All the modern uh, excommunications. They were Nazis. They were white supremacists. They were anti-Semites. They were probably homophobes. They were misogynists. They were probably transphobes, etc., etc., etc. He did all the things you do in the modern political age if you want to just defenestrate somebody who's awkward to you. And then he brings in the Emergency Powers Act. Now, at such a time, what would the mainstream media do? It would question it. It would question it. The Canadian mainstream media did not. The Canadian mainstream media acted as an amen chorus of the Canadian government. I will give you a couple of examples. But, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I could go on for hours with examples of this. You had a CBC host describing the Freedom Convoy as a, quote, feral mob. You had a Toronto Star columnist saying, quote, sorry for the language, it's a homegrown hate farm that was then jet fueled by an American right funded rat fucking operation. Jesus, they can't even write at these papers anymore. <laughs> CBC said that two indigenous women were so scared to go outside in Ottawa because of racist violence, didn't bother to mention that indigenous drummers had led the truckers in an O Canada rendition. The National Observer said that the many black and indigenous Freedom Convoy supporters were in fact duped by the truckers. The Globe and Mail reporter said, my 13 year old son told me to tell protesters I'm not a Jew out of fear of anti-Semitic violence without mentioning that one of the leaders of the convoy was himself Jewish. Now, why is this so rancid? Utterly, utterly rancid and corrupt. Because in this country, your media, your mainstream media, is funded by the government. A totally corrupted system. In 2018, oh, election year, coincidence. The Canadian media has given $595 million over five years. The Toronto Star estimated it was going to be get, getting $3 million from the government in the first half of the year. It went on and on. So you see, the mainstream, the government in Canada can tell people to, to they can tell the banks to shut down people's bank accounts. Oh, yeah. Your government can do that, and if you're happy with that, just think about what would happen if the shoe was on the other foot. The government can do that, but in Canada, they can also tell the media what to do, and the media does the bidding of the, can of the Canadian government. That isn't a free society's media. That's, I've seen unfree countries all my life, but this, in a developed, liberal democracy like Canada, is a disgrace. We're not saying don't read the mainstream media. We're just saying don't trust them.